set up the uh, brake here and talk about this. So this was not meant to be a permanent setup, and it is not a permanent setup. We may just made this from scrap pieces out of the garage. We already had the turbo laying around. Um, the PVC <laughs> uh, charge pipe is obviously, you know, was like five or six bucks. The flange we made here is made out of flat stock. We just had some bunch of exhaust pieces that we put together to make work. Already had the supply line. And then of course we used like a 0 0.8 uh, millimeter flux core wire to weld all this. And while we had to patch a couple places, you can see right there, because this was old pipe. It's not pretty guys. It took like two hours to string all this together. And we just wanted to test it and see if it worked. I wanted to see if the RHP 31 would make any boost at all on the Kubota, and it did. Um, this is a D750, so 750cc three cylinder diesel. And I'm sure that if we actually built real piping, matched everything properly, it probably would make more than the 3 PSI that it's currently making. Um, but honestly, I'm impressed that it made anything. So once again, this is just like cheap stuff from Lowe's. So take it for what it is. But hey, it worked, it made boost. And this is coming off today. So the reason I actually did this is I need to fix the uh, part of the exhaust for the Kubota. And since I had to cut that portion off to put the new muffler on, um, or redo the muffler, I should say, I just decided, hey, let's just kind of go ahead and uh, mess around with this real fast. So the RHB 31, nothing special. As you can tell, we don't even have an air filter on it because we ran it all of like, I don't know, it's probably got 10 minutes of runtime on it total. But it is interesting. And you do tell a difference, surprisingly, even at three PSI, um, before on that hill and tall grass, it would kind of bog down. It definitely does not bog down now. It would basically bog and start puffing a little bit of black smoke and you'd hear the RPMs drop. With a turbocharger on it, it doesn't. What I would love to do is find one this size, but in an actual non-eBay brand and make a manifold for it and actually tuck it up under the hood. But that would be TIG welding and actually spending some time. I mean, guys, that's just paper cardboard. Like, take it for what it is. So if this piping had all been done correctly and we had, you know, not going from 1.1 inches to two inches up here, I'm sure this thing would perform much, much better. I still think the RHB 31 is actually a little undersized for the engine. Um, it's, it's close, but I think something just slightly bigger might be a better, but obviously the GT15 was too big. So that didn't really work out for us. Um, yeah, and keep in mind, I'm not using an actual boost gauge. I'm using my little cheap fuel meter here, but it is generally pretty accurate. And I mean, it was showing three PSI positive pressure. Yeah, I actually can feel the heat in the pipe here. It is a hot day out here, but it's cool. It makes turbo sounds, you know, Nothing on here is permanent. Like I said, it's all coming off here in about 10 minutes. So take it for what it is. But just for a quick test to see if it actually would work and make boost, it did. Now guys, I know some of y'all are gonna knock this. Seriously, I think I have 10 or $15 like in this setup. I had the turbo that we were gonna use on another project and never got around to. So, hey, it is what it is. The welds look like garbage because I'm not going to spend hours trying to TIG welds it up. That I'm just going to take off anyway. If I was going to do it correctly, I would obviously have done a much better job with this and cleaned it up, made it match the flange here. Same thing with this. actually had the flange cut out. Yeah, we used a hole saw to drill those holes. So, <laughs> I mean, once again, take it for what it is. The welds look like garbage, but hey. We ran it. It was fun. It was cool while it lasted. Definitely something different. You know, we never even put an actual exhaust directly off the turbo. So I'm sure that would have probably made the sound a little bit better. The wastegate never did try to open. 
I wouldn't expect it to. Um, I think that waste gate is waste gated around like eight or nine pounds from the factory. So I mean, it would take quite a bit to overpower that. But yeah, but for the haters out there, three PSI on a small tractor like this really does make a difference. I was actually really surprised. Um, at wide open throttle with no load, we were hitting like one and a half, two pounds. And then when we were really pushing it, going up some steep hills with the blades engaged, we were hitting about three, three and a half pounds. And with that, you could really notice a difference. Like I said, the tractor, the injection pump has not been turned up and we're not running any extra fuel to it. So obviously that would increase boost if we did, but it really did a pretty good job at actually pulling these hills and not getting bogged down. Uh, there was a noticeable difference there. So there's probably a little bit more into this with um, turbocharging these old three cylinders and stuff. Even if you're not adding a ton of extra fuel, you can definitely get a performance boost out of a turbocharger. Assuming your oil system and your cooling system is up to handling it. So anyway, guys, this video is drug on and on. I'm sorry I'm not going to be able to have the time to do anything really cool with this. Like I said, I would love to build a manifold. I'd love to, to, to uh, have the turbo up under the hood there, run the factory air filter housing on it, you know, do all those fun, cool things, make it look factory and stockish. But right now, I don't have the time. Heck, I still need to get tires for this thing. So <laughs> anyway, hope you guys have a good summer. It's hot. Be safe out there. Try to be nice to everybody. Hope this kind of helps you guys. Once again, this is a 750cc Kubota diesel D750. And the turbo is a RHB31 eBay knockoff. Um, hitting roughly around three pounds of boost, three and a half pounds under load. Nothing special. Injection pump is set stock. No timing advance. And I think that's about it. So if you guys have a diesel pulling project out there, you know, Maybe that'll help you give you some numbers to point you in the right direction. As always, be safe. Till next time, all the way.